Welcome to Bigraphy. Let's design a parametric base and explore 3D modeling with ease. The video demonstrates a parametric base design workflow using Bigraphy, a cloud-based computational design platform. It shows how to create a vase model whose shape and surface detailing can be modified using adjustable parameters. The tutorial begins by creating a circle. This will serve as the base profile for our vase. Now, let's make the radius of this circle adjustable. We'll use a range input node, which allows us to control the circle's diameter. We'll set the minimum diameter to 150 and the maximum to 2000. This way, we can experiment with different sizes for our vase. To get the radius for the circle node, we'll divide the diameter by 2. Select the nodes, right-click, and choose Hide to remove unnecessary geometries. To create the upper part of the frame, let's move this circle upward along the z-axis. For this, we'll use the Move node. Connect the Vector Z node to define the move direction and Height input to control the move amount. We will adjust the height using the Range Input node, setting it between 200 and 300. We divide the height by 3 to determine the size of each circle's height. Select the nodes, right-click, and choose Hide to remove unnecessary geometries. We move the shifted circle by the same amount. Select the nodes, right-click, and choose Hide to remove unnecessary geometries. And now we will construct the base circle, whose radius will be equal to half the radius of the initial circle. Select the nodes, right-click, and choose Hide to remove unnecessary geometries. We move the same circle in the direction of the z-vector by the height amount. Select the nodes, right-click, and choose Hide to remove unnecessary geometries. To turn the following circles into a surface, we will use the Loft Surface node. Select the nodes, right-click, and choose Hide to remove unnecessary geometries. Since the base of the vase needs to be closed, we will turn the bottom circle into a surface using the Curve to Surface node. To give the vase an interesting pattern, we will use the Diamond Panel node. The pattern's density is controlled by count X and count Y parameters. We will set the minimum of count X to 10, the maximum to 25, and the step to 1. We will set the minimum of count Y to 3, the maximum to 10, and the step to 1. To give thickness to the curves of the pattern, we use the Pipe node.
The final touch involves enhancing the visual appeal of our spiral tube by applying material properties. The Apply Material node allows us to structure a realistic appearance by setting parameters such as color, metallicity, roughness, and opacity. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial helped. For more on computational design, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. See you in the next tutorial.